All right, Mitch here. I have the ESP EC10 guitar. I got it back. I busted a string, but it broke at the base. I think the string must have been bad. It broke at the ball right in, right in there. I had some. I had a hybrid, like a 1046, I mean a 946 set. And it, these are 1046. One here. So I took a 40 set. I had to bust a set. So I took it out of there. And um, it sounded really good. Um, let me... Uh, let me make sure it's still in tune real good. I think it sounds good for a $150 guitar. And I'm not going to tell you how much it costs for a setup. It's not cheap. It used to be like 40 some dollars. Or Before, I noticed like um, I had a complete setup. But I, really, the only thing I wanted done really was uh, just just to, the frets needed to be followed. That was it. But he did a complete setup. So, all right, what the hell. And, you know, put new strings on there. Uh, 1046. And... Uh, but it seems like the action is not as quite as low as it was. But it's fine because these are, I think these has those extra large frets. And it's fine. It's, plus, you know, I got to get used to, I'm not used to playing. Um, I have, my uh, Epiphone Bless Ball has 10s on it. Uh, and so does my SJ. But, uh, which I haven't, I have not been playing a lot. But anyway, so uh, I'm just going to play a little thing, a little blues thing. Yeah, I'm playing blues on a metal guitar. Uh, so anyway, I don't know any metal, but that's why I got it. Maybe I'll learn some. I don't know. All right, so let me put this out of the way, and I'll play a little bit. But I'll mute this mic so you don't pick up sound. Oh, real quick. You know, I do everything with on a doll or my heel, my Line 6 heel. Uh, but I'm I'm on my PC right now, not on the Mac, and I'm using I'm using Reaper doll. Digital audio conversion uh, workstation soft. It's free to use, but it doesn't. It never expires. But it's like sixty bucks if you want to use. You know, pay for it. I don't monetize my channel. I don't my YouTube channel. Blah 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 blah. But it's only sixty bucks, and uh, and it, it gives you. They give you sixty days to use it. After that, it'll just give you a nag thing, and it'll give you a counter countdown. Then it'll it still work. But there's free ones out there. There's free dolls out there. There's Cakewalk. It's free. A little more to me. It's a little more complicated to use. But anyway, but I'm using I'm using Reaper, and I'm using simulation software. It's called Thu. So I'm using I'm using some effects on there. So I'm going to move this out of the way, mute it, jam a little bit. Not too long. It's You know what time it is? 5.33 in the morning. <laughs> I stay up all night.
ESP EC10 is a hit. I, uh, as I said earlier, I busted a string uh, playing earlier today. I busted at the ball, at the bridge. I know. Anyway, I, I didn't want to tear up any. Uh, I had some. I the set that is on here now uh, is a uh, Diodero 1040, 1046. I have some hybrid 946s. I didn't want to bust up a set, but I did. Um, I could. They they would have given me another string if I went down there because bust at the ball. I noticed when I'm playing, I'm bent, you know doing a lot of stuff, playing that same stuff. The uh, still got the blues, whatever it's called, and doing a high bends on the e string it was like it was going flat every time i did something just kept on going flat i tuned it up going flat and it, and it broke at the ball so it must have been defective this this thing i only tuned it up once or twice it's fine it hasn't even gone out so anyway the guitars are hit they do a good, really good job on a frets um it's got a different vibe to it to it it's 10 times lighter than my my uh gibson les paul or my uh epiphone les paul it really i just enjoy playing it um, like I said, you know, I'm, tr I'm playing blues on a, on a metal guitar. I don't know metal. I mean, I have to learn, learn some stuff anyway. So there you have it. The, uh, I would definitely remember, this is definitely better quality to me, way better quality than the, uh, than the mono price really. Um, having said that, I still like, I still love playing my mono price. You know, these, I like, these have the humbuckers, obviously, um, and I could I could hear the it's, I can hear a little bit muddy uh, whatever you call it mu uh, muddiness or it starts acting weird you know but if I mess around with tweaking with the uh, like it, like I'm using that emulation software guitar software simulator stuff you know it's got pedals on there and yeah, I can tweak around with that you know I, I like I like reverb and delay man you know some some gains and sorts or whatever but anyway it's a hit. I, if you, you know, get a chance to buy one of these, I see them on sale for around 100 bucks, you know, around here. This was 150 brand new, but I see them around used around 100 or so, you know, on up. Um, yeah, if you have a chance, get one, who, whoever doesn't have one. So everybody have a good weekend and take care. How do I stop this thing? There it is.